guys. So I haven't been around for a while as usual. I put on my Instagram stories if you guys wanted to see like a vlogmas sort of. I know that I can't be consistent <laughs> with vlogmas as in like every day so I figured maybe like every other day and then I got sick. <laughs> I'm actually getting sicker so I was gonna do a different video than this but I'm not feeling well. I was planning on doing like a decorate with me or whatever but I haven't been feeling that great I just keep getting headaches and it's like tension headaches so like my my body just hurts um so I ended up not doing any sort of filming I just slapped up our decorations and we buy the tree we put up the tree and then another day I put the lights on the tree because I do it like the professional way which is like you string it in and out of the branches and it takes forever it takes like I think it takes me like two hours to um, string the lights on our tree no matter whether it's live or a fake tree it takes me a really long time but it makes it look so beautiful mm -hmm. the day that we put up the ornaments it was just a ship show my husband went to take our bonus daughters or my bonus daughter's car in to get oil changed and then the car died and then he had to go get a battery for it <clears throat> instead of getting an oil change and then that was a whole ordeal he was gone for like four three or four hours and then I wasn't feeling like I was having a headache and it just wasn't working out so today I am just gonna do a tree tour <laughs> um, of our Christmas tree and kind of like show you all of our ornaments and we do very traditional we like it colorful I'm just gonna show you all of like our ornaments I'm gonna show you our tree and how the way that I light up our tree why it makes such a huge difference and then I'll show you all of our ornaments a lot of them were passed down from my childhood from my mom and then um, some of them are just filler bulbs. Some other ornaments on here are ones that we've collected over the years from traveling or whatever. So without further ado, I will show you our tree. First, let me show you my cute baby boy. Hi, Ducky. Say hi. Say hi, Papa. <laughs> okay, so here is our tree. Ignore the toys and the basket where we leave all of his like diapers and all that stuff. Okay, so here is our tree. We go with a star and as you can see there's lots of bulbs and colors and candy canes and all that stuff. We like the more traditional. I used to put ribbon on um, but my bonus daughter doesn't like the ribbon. My husband also doesn't necessarily like the ribbon but I think next year I'm going to do the ribbon again because that was my childhood. My mom always put ribbon on it, so I'm just gonna do that again. We have a ton of lights, and this is because I weave. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> I weave the lights like going in and back out onto the branches and then back in and then to the next branch and over and over and over all the way around. It makes decorating or lighting the tree take a million years, but it's so worth it because there's just lights everywhere. And then with the white lights, <clears throat> this year I only like wrapped it around. Usually I will do the exact same thing with stringing it back and forth, but like I said, not feeling the greatest lately, so. Um, I didn't do that this year and it just takes so long so forget it. So now I will show you This is a live tree we got from Costco um, And it was out the door $72 or like $71 and whatever cents best deal out there We used to go to a different Christmas tree lot and they've closed down for business so we're not going there and all the other Christmas tree stores are just so expensive. So this is I've got four of these and these are from my childhood. These were given to me by my mom and I just love the gold, green, and red. That's mostly the thing for like this side of my house because the other side of my house is more rustic. And then I've got this, these ballet slippers from when my bonus daughter and I went to see Nutcracker in 2012. So I thought those are really cute. Um, again ornaments from my childhood, some precious moments, 
Just random little bulbs. This is a glass narwhal and I actually got this because my bonus daughter and I tell each other narwhal when we miss each other. Um, so like one of us will say narwhal and then the other will say narwhal narwhal. I'm not gonna get completely into that but it started as a joke first and then went from there. I really love this because it's like blown glass. I love the kind of like cracked, I don't know, painting or whatever. I don't know. It's just, I think it's really, really pretty. And then right above it is when we went to Gettysburg as a family. It's, we go on a lot of family trips. Like we invite my mother-in-law and um, my nieces and nephews. We went to Gettysburg and New York, and I believe the New York is, oh, it's right there. So we got this one, and then we went over to New York, and we got this one, and then these, I believe, was I pregnant when we got these? I think I was, was I? No, I was not, I was not pregnant. We went the year before I got pregnant. And then we've got my child down here, trying to munch on the ornaments, quit it. Ducky, leave it alone. Stop, stop that. Leave it alone, uh-uh. I'm gonna put it somewhere else now. <laughs> this one is from Mexico, Cabo San Lucas. We got this one, can't remember what year, I think it was 2017, but it was the year that I sliced open my foot in Bali and then we planned this makeup trip uh, because my trip to Bali was completely ruined. Um, so we planned this like a month later thinking that my foot would be healed by then and it was not So I didn't even get to enjoy Cabo San Lucas either. This one we actually got this year and when we went to, um, as a family to Costa Rica, uh, we went to Playa Hermosa. My son went with us, um, my bonus daughter went with us as well. Um, her best friend, my mother-in-law, my two nieces, it was a really fun trip. Then we've got Darth Vader, which my bonus daughter gave to my husband. And then this one is the same year that my foot got sliced open, 2017. This one is from Florida. We had a family member getting married in Florida. That was another family trip. So we got this one when we went to go see the alligators. This one is the start of all of our travels. My husband and I had never gone on vacation with each other prior to going to Alaska for our honeymoon in 2015. So this is from that year. I should put years on here. But yeah, so we got this one when we went to Alaska on an Alaskan cruise for our honeymoon. This musical note is for my bonus daughter. She um, is in choir and she just has always been singing since she was little, so we got that. That's one from my childhood. Another from my childhood. And then this one is from New Orleans. This was a family trip again, um, but this one's more like a family trip of my husband and I, my bonus daughter, um, her best friend came, but we took a cruise that left from New Orleans, so we spent a couple days in New Orleans. I was actually pregnant and didn't even tell my husband or my bonus daughter at this point yet, and so when we were walking around Bourbon Street, I was so sick. Like, not, not sick in the sense of like, I was nauseous because of pregnancy, I was nauseous because I had such a sharp sense of smell and Bourbon Street smells absolutely disgusting. So when you're pregnant and walking around Bourbon Street, it is so much worse. I could not, could not stop gagging. So I had to like go around on other streets to avoid Bourbon Street. Otherwise I would have thrown up for sure. This was the same year that we went and saw the Nutcracker. So we got this one as well, the little Nutcracker. This is from our first trip to Boston. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I absolutely love Boston. I could go there every single year and never get bored. I mean, I specifically love Concord, not necessarily the city of Boston. I love the city of Boston. It's probably my only city that I actually like, but I specifically love Concord. I think it's just so beautiful. So that's our 
trip to Boston. The first time we went, we've gone um, one other time since then. Um, we went last year while I was pregnant. This is another one from my childhood. Another from my childhood. This was from our second trip to Boston. I got this one knowing, I mean, I was 20 weeks pregnant when we went to Boston the second time, so I got this one. I was looking everywhere for personalized ornaments here where I live and I could not find any of them. Um, and then we went to Boston around Christmas time, um, I think around this time, and I saw this at one of the little carts and I had to get it because it's exactly what I wanted. So it says dad, mom, McKenna who is my bonus daughter, Declan who was in my belly at the time, Simi and Homer who are my two cats, girl and boy, it says Harper's and it was just perfect. That's another precious moments from my childhood. My mom had a lot of precious moments um, ornaments from I think Hallmark and they I just think they're so pretty. I think a lot of my mom's ornaments were either from Hallmark or from this place that she takes me called Shinoda. Um, that's just like a warehouse decoration kind of place. This is from San Francisco. My sister-in-law used to live in Berkeley. She now lives in LA. We got this one when we went visiting her. This is another Precious Moments. This is one that my aunt gave my husband. Her first husband passed away of cancer and he really loved golf. My husband really loves golf. So she wanted to give them to my husband, so she gave her, she gave him this one. There's also a couple more golf ones that she gave. There's another one of the ones that my mom gave. This little girl, I love this cat ornament. I have had this for so long. Same with the Precious Moments one. Um, she used to have a little compact, and I don't know, I just think, I've always thought she was just so cute and sassy and just, I love this little ornament. Definitely reminds me of my childhood because I remember putting this one on the tree all the time. My husband is a teacher, so I think one year I just got this for him just to have on the tree because it was red and green and you know, he is a teacher and all that. We're going to the back of the tree now, which is a little bit harder to get to. Um, plus I have my small child right under my feet. Um, this is another one of those golf ornaments. This one actually jingles. And then we've got Santa up here driving a car. This is really appropriate for where we live. We live in a beach city, so this little Santa in a car, uh, in a convertible car is just very appropriate for where we live. This is a golf one that I believe my bonus daughter actually got my husband. Um, but I think that's all of the ornaments after that one. I got a baby for Christmas under the tree. I think that's everything and then our little star which this year my bonus daughter has now passed on the torch to my son to put the star on the tree because she is going to go to college. Come August, she'll be going to college and she won't be around to be putting this star on the tree anymore. So that is our tree. I absolutely love this Christmas tree this year. It is so full and it was only $72, which still like makes me nauseous. I personally love fake trees. <laughs> but um, my bonus daughter really loves real trees. So we got the real tree, especially since it's gonna be her last year here, as far as like being here to pick out the tree cause she's not gonna be back until like the middle of December and all that. So we'll be using a fake tree from now on until she's out of college or moved back home and then we might get a tree every once in a while if she's able to come with us. Uh, I am going to go drink some tea now. I'm going to get this little monster out of here, Declan. Declan, what are you doing, kid? What are you doing? He has successfully removed three ornaments. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry it's not like the most exciting video ever. I just don't feel well and I do want to get a video up Christmas related. Like I said, I did want to do a decorate with me, but that did not happen. I need to find some cough drops somewhere because my throat is just unbelievably dry every single breath I take. 
It's so uncomfortable. <clears throat> and I have to remove my child from outlets. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I am going to be doing um, some other Christmas related videos. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, subscribe, stay tuned, click the notification. Uh, give this a like. Hopefully this month I'll be able to be more consistent. I am going to end it here and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!